For those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, spring is fast approaching. And what that typically means for our wardrobe is that we move away from heavyweight layering and muted colors to more vibrant clothing and more climate appropriate outfits. In today's video, I'm gonna give you five springtime outfit essentials that hopefully will serve as some inspiration for when you're trying to formulate your fits for the spring. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Drew What It Do and PVV, shout out to you. Today's video is sponsored by Karma. Formerly known as ShopTagger, Karma is an amazingly valuable, easily downloadable Chrome extension that makes your online retail experience that much better. With Karma, you're able to save items across different websites and get email slash push notifications on any updates to the items you've saved, such as price drops and availability. The main applications for Karma include managing all of your wishlist items across multiple online retailers and devices with the ability to get push notifications on any changes, making it easy for you to stay up to date on price drops and sales. And Karma allows for sorting your wish list in a multilateral way, allowing for simultaneous wish lists with different products from different genres. In addition to that, Karma scans the internet looking for coupons that can be automatically applied to your purchase at checkout. Karma is literally a win-win-win in this respect. When you shop from select retailers, you're also able to get cash back on your purchase, which is amazing and puts money back into your pocket. I am currently using it to sort through some of my favorite items that I have for spring summer 22 and it has helped me tremendously. Download Karma now by using the link in my description. It not only helps the channel but also makes your online retail experience that much better. So let's start this spring essentials list with the perfect, the perfect in-between item knitted sweaters. Now, in my opinion, knitwear is fantastic for three out of the four seasons of the year. In the fall time, it's perfect for that little bit of extra warmth that you might need as it gets colder in the fall. In the winter, if you layer it properly, it's fantastic as a layering piece. And in the spring, it still offers a bit of breathability to keep you cool as climates and temperatures rise. And that's just it. In the springtime, you can find lighter weight knitted knitwear. Yeah, that's that's a mouthful. But lighter weight knitted knitwear than what you'd maybe find in the fall or winter. And as a result, you can still style some really fantastically cool pieces that are really beautiful and bring that vibrance and color that springtime often does naturally. Knitted sweaters are also really dope because you can find them secondhand, which is a great option if you're on a budget or if you don't want to spend upwards of 100, 200, whatever it might be for some of these crazy knits. Some of the more interesting ones that I've been looking at personally for myself and or Lauren include this crazy blue green one that we found on Etsy that's really really cool. This really beautiful palace yin yang knitted sweater that I think is fantastic. These are cold wall like tie dye knits that they've done are really interesting to me and I just would love to have one in hand and try it out and wear it and style it. And it would be amazing to one day own my very own capital bone knitted sweater. I've seen these in person. I've been to Canoe Club and seen them and these are beautiful. Canoe Club, let's, let's make something happen, baby. <laughs> so in terms of headwear for the springtime, there are two hats that I wanna talk to you guys about. First being the trucker hats, second being bucket hats. Let's get into it. This is like a two for one special for what I think will be the hottest headwear in spring of 2022. I think in the last couple of years, we all know, or maybe we don't know, but I think in the last couple of years, trucker hats have been really, really popular and on the rise. Now with bucket hats, I feel like it's either a hit or miss for a lot of people. Trucker hats just have that popularity, whether you're buying secondhand or you're buying from certain brands, and we'll get into that in a second. But with bucket hats, some people don't have the head shape or they don't think they have the head shape or have too much hair or don't, can't find the right bucket hats. I'm curious to know what you think of bucket hats down in the comment section because I think that in the springtime, you see you know, 5X more bucket hats than you do in fall and winter. And obviously you see it a lot in summer as well. Now, as it pertains to bucket hats, I think there are three types that really stand out in my head that I would love to maybe acquire for the springtime. The first one being this Story MFG bucket hat that I saw last year in store at Step Brook here in Denver. Absolutely beautiful bucket hat. I've seen other people style these. I've seen Ariana Grande wear these. Really, really cool hat that I feel like is kind of like this like cool hippie slash sustainable vibe to it that's really, really dope. I think another classic option has to be from the brand Stussy. I feel like their typography on pretty much any type of garment looks really, really clean. And for whatever reason, more so than anything else, their bucket hats are super dope, clean, black typically, but also come in other colorways as well. And it just look really, really good. 
Last, I don't have a particular brand, but I think it would be interesting to try like a corduroy bucket hat. I don't know, that just sounds kind of fire to me. The textures of corduroy have really been on my mind recently and I've been loving and wearing a lot of corduroy pants. So I wonder what that would look like on a bucket hat. I don't know, that could be cool. If anyone has any like suggestions for brands for corduroy bucket hats, be my guest and comment. <laughs> Now for trucker hats, I feel like the shape is imperative. I have some over there that I'll bring out real quick for you guys. For example, I'll give you two examples. This open bar funeral trucker hat has a great, great shape to it. I love the way that the hat kind of inclines and comes down on your head. Um, it's a really, really beautiful hat. Probably some of my favorite shaped hats are open bar funeral, so they do a fantastic job if you're looking for trucker hats. I also actually really love the profile of the trucker hats that my brand decided to make, Edward Joyner. These are really beautiful to me as well. Obviously, I have a little bit of bias because I made these, but I think that they look really, really cool as well. And because they're made sustainably, like with recycled plastics and organic cotton, that's always a plus if you can find sustainable options as well. If you have other trucker hats that you're like, man, Drew, you're missing out on this trucker brand or X, Y, and Z trucker hat, like let us know because I'm always on the lookout for more trucker hats. You can never have enough hats, especially with how often I get my haircut. Like you, you just, you can never, you can never have enough. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you just gotta have it on like this, have it on like this, and you know now you're busting, you're ready for the springtime, you're ready for a little spring soiree or a spring date. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Are we good? My camera just died, man. I hate when my camera dies. All right, I got another two for one special for you guys in the form of sandals or open toe shoes or slip ons because those are like all in the same category in my brain in my brain and crocheted pieces kind of a random combination but let's just roll with it i think as the climate gets warmer you'll see a bit of a resurgence of open toed shoes or slip ons or just footwear that accommodates for the heat whether it be suiko clogs birkenstocks or other open toe or slip on or styled footwear you're probably thinking to yourself like well duh drew like that's just the current trend we're in but but i have a little bit of a caveat i think this year in particular i've been saying in a lot of my other videos you're going to see more gorp core involved in footwear than ever before obviously you have solomon's shoes you have uh, beatniks you have a lot of different options out there but i think things are just going to get more and more gorpy if you want to even call it that i know some people don't like that some people think that's cringe i get it i get it i get it you see things that are a little more gorpy that you wouldn't have seen in 2020 and 2021, or maybe you saw it a little bit. I think, for example, this might not be gorpy, but I think it's in the same kind of feeling of, you know, gorp core is a great example of this is what Salehe Bembry just did with Crocs in December of 2021, which is kind of like, you know, pre-2022, you know what I'm saying? So things like that, and there are other options, like I'm looking at, you know, the Crocs Quick Trail Lows, which... I feel like are discontinued, but you can't find them anymore, but I really want to find them. And there's a whole slew of other options. These are my predictions. If you think I'm wrong, like, let me know down in the comments once again. Now, in regards to crochet, I could be totally off with this again, but I think this comes from my fascination with Bodhi and Bodhi's rise in power and significance within Fastrule's cultural zeitgeist. <laughs> I had to say it again. I had to say it again. If you know, you know. <laughs> Similar to knitwear, crocheting offers a bit of breathability and customization and uniqueness to garments. I think what Bodhi does is fantastic. Obviously, the price point is very, very high. So I think when it comes to buying, into crochet you want to look secondhand once again or you want to look at like small mom and pop kind of shops etsy has been a great resource for me i feel like there's a lot of cool creators that are knitting crocheting and doing things by hand which is wildly underrated i never thought i would kind of talk about etsy which is crazy i never i never thought i'd talk about etsy but i i feel like it's kind of been my secret weapon here for a little bit like in terms of like buying knitted crocheted items so check out etsy so number four on this list has to be the emergence of bold colors in the springtime now spring is a really fun part of the year because where i live in colorado we go through winter and we have summer we have we have all the seasons which is really dope and what you see is the transition from winter which is like the thing are a little bit lifeless there are no plants you know there's no flowers outside to the kind of bold uprising if that's even the right word of colors and flowers and and bugs and birds and animals and etc 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 things come back to life and i feel like fashion kind of reverberates that sentiment in the in the form of well yeah like in the spring or in the fall and the winter there's going to be a lot more muted subdued colorways while in the spring there's more bold bold blues, highlighted blues, really 
exaggerated pops of color and outfits and i feel like you're gonna see you're gonna see a lot of that in the springtime and it's gonna be something that you should probably should implement in your own personal styling if you would like to and i feel like it could be a lot of fun to change it up from kind of the more muted tones of the fall and the winter. Last but not least, I think we're gonna see a more modern recontextualization of the preppy aesthetic that has been popularized in the last couple years. We're gonna continue to see that in spring of 2022. I look at someone like Tyler, the creator, who continues to be a tastemaker in this genre. He is the front runner, the brigadier general, the president, the commando of this genre when it comes to a modern prep or preppy aesthetic. And I think that a lot of people purchase things like loafers and different kind of timeless styles in 2021 and they're going to continue to wear those and play with their outfits in those pieces in spring of 2022 but that's all i got for you guys hopefully this video didn't end up being too long i'm guessing it's probably around the I don't know, eight to 10 minute range. Maybe it could be a little bit longer. I don't know, PVV might make it a little bit longer. But regardless, thank you guys for staying to the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Was I right? Did I miss something? Should I include something else in the next video? Leave all your comments and thoughts down there. I can't wait to see what you guys say so I can engage with you. Shout out to Carmen one more time for sponsoring this video. Help the channel out, link in the description. Anything else? Yeah, I think there is something else. As always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2022. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you later. Aviento. Peace. Yo, PVV gang, what's happening with y'all, man? Y'all doing all right? Y'all y'all kind of gassed me up, making me think I can sing, but I, I really can't. I can't sing at all, really. And, and that was just me just having a good time last time. But here's, you know, you know we get down. Here's a bop. One fist bump. Let me, let me switch hands on them real quick. Bop! There's another fist bump. Appreciate you guys so, so much for all that you do. Being one of the best. One of the best. We the best. You know, DJ Khaled, we the best. <laughs> Communities here on YouTube, man. I want to keep the PVV relatively short, so I got a little dad joke for you. I got a little dad joke. Here it comes. Here it comes. Did you know corduroy pillows are in style? They're making headlines. <laughs> now that that's a dad joke, right? There. <laughs> that's like that. If you don't think that's a little bit funny, like that's a little, that's a chuckle. That's a chuckle. Chuckle. Go ahead. You can chuckle. <laughs> See y'all later, man. Got love for y'all. Talk to you soon. Peace.